Hi, this is Maria Williams. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your pattern paper and use some small stamps to enhance it or to make it match the theme of your card a little bit better. Usually, we take the paper that we love so much and cut it up and put it on our cards, but occasionally, if we look at it, there is a room on the paper to add a little something more. For this first example, I'm using the Botanical Gardens Designer Series paper, and it looked to me like the blooms could use a little bit of detail in the middle. So I decided to use some Versamark ink and some gold embossing powder to um, jazz up the flowers. So I'm looking through my stamp sets to see which ones have small flowers that might fit in. And the paper pumpkin stamp sets are in general great for this kind of things because they tend to have smaller stamps. Um, but I'm also looking at the Pretty Thankful stamp set, which is being discontinued um, at the end of this um, month, May of 2016. And then I'm also looking at the Number of Years um, stamp set, which the main feature of it are the large numbers and the banners, but there are also a couple of flowers in the set that I think would look great with this particular designer series paper. So I'm settling on that flower and I'm going to use my embossing buddy to make sure that I remove all the static from my paper. And then I'm going to take the Versamark ink, stamp the flowers, add my gold embossing powder and um, heat emboss the flowers. When I was adding my embossing powder, I noticed that I got a little um, embossing powder where I didn't want it. So I'm just taking a small paintbrush and brushing away all of that gold embossing powder. And then I'm just going to grab my heat gun and melt the powder. And here is the designer series paper with the nice gold accents. Here's another example of another paper from the same pack but with the flower from the Pretty Thankful stamp set. For this next example, I'm going to be using the little stamp set from the Pocket Full of Cheer Paper Pumpkin. And I'm using paper from the It's My Party Designer Series Paper Pack. I love this paper pack. It's so bright and cheerful. And I'm using this paper that is crumb cake with the big, um, large white dots. And I'm going to use the graduation hat first. I need to make a graduation card. It is the month for graduations. So I'm going to take black archival ink and stamp the hat inside all the white dots on about one third of this piece of paper. Because this stamp has um, a lot of surface area, even though it's a small stamp, you want to make sure that you apply good even pressure. I didn't do that on a couple of the circles, so I didn't get a great impression, but I'm going to fix that when I'm done stamping all the hats. Here's that impression that didn't turn out so well. So I'm just taking a fine tip marker. You could use a Stampin' Write marker or a Sharpie with a very fine tip and just go over the area that um, didn't stamp really well. And when you are done, nobody will be able to tell the difference. Next, I'm going to use some crumb cake ink with the heart stamp. I've decided I'm not going to stamp in every single one of the circles. I want this to be a little bit more of a sparse pattern because I'm expecting to use um, a cake focal point and I think it'll be too much pattern. So I'm just randomly selecting a few of the circles to stamp. And last but not least, I'm going to use some Melon Mambo ink with a little kind of frond image from the stamp set and I am going to stamp every one of the circles. And the same as with the graduation hats, I didn't get a great impression on one of um, the circles. So in this case, because I don't have a uh, marker that matches this particular color, and also I think it might turn out, even if I had it, it might turn out a little bit too dark, I'm going to take a blender pen and um, squeeze my stamp pad so that I can get some fresh ink onto the lid and use the blender pen to um, finish up the image. And same as with the black ink, I don't think anybody would be able to tell that I have had to um, fix up that image.
Those are my three examples of three different images that you can use on the same piece of paper to um, customize your paper to your project. I encourage you to look through your pattern papers that you have already and your stamps and see what you can come up with. So here are the cards that I made um, with the altered papers that I showed you. Here's the graduation card. Of course, I stamped in black the um, hats. And then this is a um, stamp set that's being retired. It's called Bravo, so you might want to look for that. And then I wrapped a little black and white twine around the white paper, popped this up with some dimensionals, easy, cute card, totally personalized with the hats. This is the one that I made with the paper that I stamped with the heart, um, kind of tone on tone with the crumb cake. And this is from the Endless Birthday Wishes stamp set. And I used the two inch circle punch, which is not being discontinued, but the 2138 scallop punch is being discontinued. So if you would like that, you need to order before May 31st. And all the paper is from It's My Party. If you can see here, I did add a little bit of shine with the Wink of Stella. I colored the cake with the um, Stampin' Write markers and then added the Wink of Stella, uh, the clear Wink of Stella on the cake, and then I used the gold Wink of Stella for the stand. Here's a card using the Word Thin Lits and the paper that I stamped with the little leaf from the Paper Pumpkin stamp set. Uh, all the paper, again, is from It's My Party. I added some sequins from the Bright's Sequin Assortment. And again, easy card using the negative space. And finally, this is probably my favorite, the Botanical Gardens paper that I gold embossed. Um, I didn't use the thin lace for this flower. I just went ahead and fussy cut the flower, used the itty bitty accents, flower punch and just a little circle I punched out with a um, hole punch. And the sentiment is from A Dozen Thoughts. Uh, that is another stamp set that is being discontinued. So if you like the greeting, you might want to look for it. You might be able to still get it at a discount. So there are the four cards that I made with the altered papers. I hope you are inspired to look through your papers and your stamps and figure out what papers you can improve with a little bit of stamping. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like more details, please visit my blog at mariascardsandmore.com.